this. So that's how I discovered it. You tell the examiner that after your fourth question, you are now 65, perhaps 75% sure that the cause of Mrs. Horn jaundice is due to biliary obstruction. Obstruction to the liver. And therefore you seek permission to ask your fifth question. The examiner will tell you to proceed. You tell the examiner, I would like to know whether there has been any abdominal pain or abdominal discomfort. The examiner will say, why? You tell the examiner, because I would like to rule out things like inflammatory things and things like gallstones. And so Mrs. Horn, can you please tell us whether you have recently developed any abdominal pain or discomfort? Yes. In the past four weeks, I've been, I feel bloated. It's not like a discomfort, but it's bloating. And it's around this area. My doctor calls it the right hypochondrium. That's what he says the liver is. Thank you, Mrs. Horn. And you therefore tell the examiner that after your fifth question, you are still 75% sure that the cause of Mrs. Horn jaundice is due to biliary obstruction. Obstruction to the liver and therefore you seek permission to proceed and ask your final question. The examiner will tell you to proceed. You tell the examiner, I would like to know whether or not there has been any weight loss. The examiner will say to you, why should patients with jaundice lose weight? You tell the examiner, because they have malabsorption of fat. They have a thing called stateria. That just means a flow of fat. And together with being off your food, anorexia means patients with jaundice lose weight. And so, Mrs. Horn, can you please tell us whether or not you've lost any weight recently? And if you have, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes. I've lost nearly a whole stone. I've gone from 67 kilograms to 60 kilograms. Thank you, Mrs. Horn. You tell the examiner that after your final question, you're still 75% sure that the cause of Mrs. Horn jaundice is due to obstruction.